right, we have a 3DR Solo that belongs to Jason. This one has got several uh, additions made to it. You want to tell us about those, Jason? Sure. So we've got uh, the leg extenders and these cool lights from Polar Pro. Uh, the leg extenders are, to me, I feel like a must because I've actually had mine flip over twice now. Uh, with the regular ones. I think what happens is, at least what I've appears to have happened, is the gimbal will get stuck in a piece of grass. And uh, I've noticed when you actually use the fly button to take off instead of using the throttle, it gives it a lot of gas really quickly, right? You've probably noticed that with yours too. So much to the point where I, I take off manually now, but what has happened is this thing has gotten stuck in a little bit of grass. You hit the fly button, it tries to take off super fast, and it's just flipped over. Um, so, so about how much how much distance does those uh, feet uh, give you? I guess this gives you, a, it looks like a little bit more than an inch, probably, than the stock legs. The stock legs just kind of came down maybe a few millimeters, and so it makes all the difference in the world, plus it looks pretty cool. And where did those come from? Uh, these came from, I can't remember the exact place, we'll have to find the link. A lot of people are offering these now, they're just 3D printed. So I actually believe I got these off of eBay, and he asked what color did you want, you know, when we printed them. But I've seen them offered in, in several places now. I think even the Made for Solo store has these, you can get them now. Um, and how do you install them? Just slide right they in? Just, yeah, they just slide right on. You just peel them off and it literally just sort of clips over it, uh, which is kind of nice. The downside is that it won't fit in the stock box anymore, so you have to find a new way to transport it. Uh, but these guys are from Polar Pro. And you yeah, can actually, right. Yeah, you can actually get them. Uh, it's part of the Made for Solo program, so when you go to 3 Yard store, um, there's a whole specific section for accessories for the uh, Solo. So it's pretty nice, actually. It hooks into the accessory bay here. Um, and then they're printed in such a way that they just basically clip into the um, to the legs, and that's how they stay. Oh, so you don't have to do any soldering or anything? No soldering. It goes on the accessory bay, clips on there. The only thing is, like, I'll probably do something to kind of, uh, you know, put these cables out of the way, maybe tape them down or something to that regard. I have seen some folks that have uh, actually soldered them onto uh, where the ESCs are, but that requires, like, I saw a guy you had to drill a hole, in and he routed the wires inside there. Of course, I don't want to go to that length. The downside that is, of course, if you wind up with a different accessory, you know, you can only plug one accessory at a time unless they come out with some sort of splitter or adapter or something. But in the meantime, they are pretty nice. Uh, you know, even in daylight, uh, they're pretty bright, but they're on an overcast day or in the evening. Yeah, it's very bright out today, and you can see those yeah. white LEDs. Yeah. You flip them around, let's see the reds. It makes a huge difference. Gives you a little bit more confidence as far as your orientation if you're just out flying line of sight um, so yeah for 40 bucks uh, I think these little extenders were like I mean they're 3d printed I think I probably paid like 12 bucks for them or something like that it wasn't bad at all nice so and then the last thing uh, on your on your remote the uh, antennas oh yeah yeah the alpha antennas which these are pretty common um, these you see the guys talking a lot about in the forums they are uh, standard screw-on antennas, they're actually designed for uh, like Wi-Fi routers, but um, I can't remember the DBI gain on these. It's more than the stock antennas, um, but these are the ones folks have recommended, and it will, uh, in fact, there was a, uh, a big press shot of Colin from 3DR in Singapore, I think, recently, and they did a whole video of a bunch of 3D, uh, solo promo stuff, and he had these antennas on, <laughs> and people were like, really? Um, these are super cheap. I think I got them on Amazon for less than 20 bucks. Uh, and people have been getting uh, anywhere from three to 4,000. Some folks have claimed even in remote areas they've gotten over a mile with these. Uh, with just, they just the antenna. They just screw right in yeah, the they regular just, antennas they just, go? Yeah, they just, yep. So uh, for that price, without having, you know, the other things people do is they'll change out the Wi-Fi cards themselves or put on the whole, you know, amp and kit and all that kind of stuff. and. You know, if, if you don't really feel like going through all that hassle, this is a good, uh, cheap way to boost your signal. And those are those are Wi-Fi router antennas. Mm -hmm. Yep, nice. they're called Alpha, A-L-F-A. -A. All right. Super cheap way to extend your range a little bit, so. Do you want to take it up in the air? Yeah, yeah. The other thing I did is there's a little GPS mod, they claim. Um, basically, what the deal is, the GPS is located underneath here. And you can take that cover assembly off. And what they claim the problem is, is that the GPS module itself uh, is sitting on a point where it touches like some metal contacts below it. And supposedly people have been claiming 
that that affects GPS reception. So what the mod was, was to take that assembly off and put a little piece of cardboard under it, which seems weird, but it separates the module itself from touching um, the metal and copper contacts below that. And I have noticed quite a difference. Like I turned it on and within a minute I had 13 satellites. And it um, used to take longer to yeah, get Yeah, of course it's, I mean, it's a beautiful clear day as well, but uh, I haven't done any actual scientific tests to see what it really does, but people who have done it claims it seems to help quite a bit and it was a uh, kind of an oversight in how they put it together. So, so basically just taking your GPS module and separating it from some metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you search YouTube for um, 3DR solo GPS mod, you'll see a ton of them. It's a very simple operation. It didn't take very long at all. So cool. I got to turn my uh, camera on here. All right. Actually, do the spin right there. That, that looks even better. 